We are back with a peek into the future. You see it right there, a jet suit straight out of science fiction movies now being tested as a tool to save lives. Maggie really had the chance to try it. Good morning, Maggie. Hey, George, good morning. Yeah, that's right. I strapped into a jet suit and I felt like Superwoman. <laughs> but now the real life superheroes, the men and women who run rescue operations in rural areas, they're learning how to fly so they can save lives. Like a hero from a movie. Powered by a jet suit with more than a thousand horsepower at his fingertips. And flames shooting out of his arms. Meet a real life Iron Man. Richard Browning hopes this Buzz Lightyear tech will help save lives. Now Richard's showing mountain paramedics in Northern England how quickly they can jet up the hilly terrain in an emergency. In trials, the medics say an area that would normally take them nearly 30 minutes to hike to only took 90 seconds in a jet suit. With this technology, there is the possibility that we can get to someone in cardiac arrest on the top of a mountain in time to save their life with a defibrillator. Um, and that to me is just absolutely, the prospect is incredible. The flying paramedics can carry at least 25 pounds of essential gear with them. Not even four years ago, this was a kind of crazy idea. To see it being used, at least in a mock emergency situation, is really magic. I mean, it's, it's very rewarding. Richard says he can normally train people in a couple of days. And as I found out, that means strapping into a jet suit right away. Suited up with jet fuel on your back. Richard tells me to trust in the machine. It sounds like takeoff. <laughs> and my own balance. Okay, so I started off a bit rocky. Your rotation, you were correcting that most of the time, and your little hops, you were coming back down the same place. All that would be is a few more clicks, and you'd be hovering. But finally, I found my groove. <laughs> Only jet suit in the world. They say it takes just a couple of days to learn, but it was shockingly easier than I anticipated. I made it a few inches off the ground. That was brilliant. Richard shows us how it's really done and proves that human flight and what it can accomplish is only a matter of innovation. And the real training is already underway. Andy, that paramedic up in Northern England, he actually starts his official training tomorrow. And the company says they've already heard from organizations in America saying they also want to learn how to fly. And guys, before you even ask, it is even more fun than it sounds. And you saw, <laughs> I got off the ground a little bit. You can inch. Well, you were on a roll. Yeah, you had the coolest assignments. She is so game. There's no question about it. I really don't cool. like these things. But this one does look got fun. Got a jet seat to New York next. Oh, she's got a jet here to New York. But yeah, that one This looks one like, does look fun. It does look legit. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, uh, no. George, you're into this one, huh? It's one of the few. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.